Today we're going to be finding determinants and inverses of matrices. This is section 4.5 and 4.6 in the Algebra 2 book. The determinant of a matrix and the inverse of a matrix only exist for uh, square matrices, 2 by 2s, 3 by 3s, 4 by 4s, 5 by 5s, etc., etc. All of the matrices shown on this slide are square matrices because their rows and dimensions are the same. Okay, here's the matrix we're going to work with. This is a 2 by 2, so it does have a determinant and an inverse. We're going to find the determinant and inverse in our calculator. The determinant, um, you want to enter your matrix first, and as matrix A, go to second matrix. Second is the blue key. Matrices is about um, 1, 2, 3, 4 keys down, the first column. And we're going to enter this matrix in as a 2 by 2, and then enter. 5, 4, negative 3, negative 2. When you get into matrices, you got to go over to edit, matrix A, and then 2 by 2, and enter 5, 4, negative 3, negative 2. When you get all done with that, go to second, quit to get back to a blank screen. And now we're ready to do the determinant. Determinant is found under matrix math. So go to second matrix, and under that screen you'll see one that says math and pick that first one for determinant and then go into second matrix and pick matrix A so you're on your calculator screen you see you should see determinant matrix A and if you hit enter then you'll get the determinant which should be a value of positive 2 this is the determinant for the matrix for the um, doing this by hand for 2 by 2 it's easy to do a 2 by 2 matrix determinant by hand after that when you get to a 3 by 3 and a 4 by 4 and so on it gets very complicated and you wouldn't want to try to do that by hand but for a 2 by 2 you take the first diagonal which is negative 10 when you multiply it and uh, you subtract the second diagonal which is negative 12 when you multiply the second diagonal so negative 10 subtract negative 12 is positive 2 and that's how you work that out by hand so like I said if it's a 2 by 2 matrix you can do that by hand if you want to but don't try to do it for a bigger matrix by hand just do it in the calculator the inverse of a matrix is the matrix to the power of negative 1 that's called the inverse key the negative 1 key and so you want to um, have your matrix A entered in your calculator on a blank screen pick matrix A and put the little negative one power on it which is the same key we use to get into matrices but we don't hit the blue key first we just hit that uh, inverse key and it puts the negative one power on it if you hit enter you get the matrix negative one negative two 1.5 and 2.5 and this is known as the inverse matrix the inverse of matrix A um, there is a, a formula that is used to find the inverse and how that's calculated, but um, I'm not even going to bother to go through that with you. You're just going to do inverses in your calculator. Now, know that if you get an error message when you're trying to do the inverse, that means that your determinant was equal to zero. If the determinant is equal to zero, the inverse does not exist. And when you try to do the inverse, you're going to get an error message. Okay, why do we need inverses? We use an inverse to solve for x. If you have a problem with multiplication in it where you would want to divide, then you have to use an inverse matrix. Look at this example. We have matrix A as negative 1, 2, 3, and negative 4. We have matrix B as 4, 2, 6, and 0. And A is being multiplied by x to equal B, so you would normally divide by matrix A, but we don't divide by matrices. Instead, we use their inverse. So x would be equal to the inverse of matrix A times B. When you enter matrix A in your calculator and matrix B in your calculator, you want to do A inverse times B in order to solve for x. And you should get 14, 4, 9, and 3 for your answer when you do the inverse.